In the southern part of Texas, in the town of San Antonio, is a fortress all in ruins that the weeds have overgrown. You may look in vain for crosses and you'll never see a one, but sometimes between the setting and the rising of the sun, you can hear a ghostly bugle as the men go marching by. You can hear them as they answer to that roll call in the sky. Colonel Travis, Davy Crockett, and 180 more. Captain Dickinson, Jim Bowie, present and accounted for. Back in 1836, Houston said to Travis, Get some volunteers and go, fortify the Alamo. Well, the men came from Texas and from old Tennessee. And they joined up with Travis just to fight for the right to be free. Indian scouts with squirrel guns, men with muzzle loaders, stood together heel and toe to defend the Alamo. You may ne'er see your loved ones, Travis told them that day. Those who want to can leave now, those who fight to the death, let them stay. In the sand he drew a line with his army saber out of... Wow, um, I'm just going to jump in now. Thank you so much for joining me as we check out Marty Robbins with Ballad of the Alamo. And I think straight from the start, there was that haunting, that haunting guitar riff that really kind of draws you in. And his voice is absolutely, it's mesmerizing. I mean, as storytellers go, he has got to be right up there with this song because it, it, it just paints this vivid picture in your mind of, of, of the battle of, Al of the Alamo and you know it captivates well he captures he, you know he's putting that picture in your head and he's capturing kind of like the, the bravery and and the sacrifice that these soldiers that you know betrayed and yeah it's it's very 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 good and I'm absolutely super eager to get back to this and, and, and kind of finish this story off because yeah excellent absolutely excellent work so far so yeah let's knock it back and let's let's finish the story off there see your loved ones travis told them that day those who want to can leave now those who fight to the death let them stay in the sand he drew a line with his army saber out of 185 not a soldier crossed the line with his banners a-dancing in the dawn's golden light. Santa Anna came prancing on a horse that was black as the night. Sent an officer to tell Travis to surrender. Travis answered with a shell and a rousing rebel yell. Santa Anna turned scarlet, played to Quelo, he roared. I will show them no quarter, everyone will be put to the sword. One hundred and eighty-five, holding back five thousand. Five days, six days, eight days, ten, Travis held and held again. Then he sent for replacements for his wounded and lame. But the troops that were coming never came, never came, never came. Twice he charged, then blew recall on the fatal third time. Santa Anna breached the wall, and he killed them one and all. Now the bugles are silent, and there's rust on each sword. And the small band of soldiers lie asleep in the arms of the Lord. In the southern part of Texas, near the town of San Antonio, like a statue on his pintle rides a cowboy all alone. And he sees the cattle grazing where a century before Santa Anna's guns were blazing and the cannons used to roar. And his eyes turn sort of misty and his heart begins to glow and he takes his hat off slowly. To the men of Alamo To the thirteen days of glory At the siege of Alamo
Okay, everybody, that was Matty Robbins with Ballad of the Alimo, and as storytelling songs go, that was absolutely top draw. It really, really was. Um, we mentioned earlier how his that, that haunting guitar kind of set the tone for the song, but then his mesmerising voice just kind of came in and started telling this story. I almost felt like I should have been sat on the floor, just kind of at his feet, just, you know, being, being told this wonderful story. And, yeah, and he did it so very well. But what, what I was so impressed with was was kind of how he managed to strike this incredible balance between kind of like honouring and that you know the the soldiers and the heroism that you know that they went through but also acknowledging the tragedy behind it all as well and yeah he, he did it all with just this wonderful kind of profound sense of respect and admiration for, for what the, for what these guys went through so yeah I mean this feels like a song that deserves kind of like a special place on, on my playlist on any playlist really just because of how good that storytelling was and how he was able to just kind of with his voice transport you to a different place in time and you know he was picturing it in your head the storytelling was absolutely incredible and yeah thoroughly loved that it was just kind of like an emotional journey and but brilliant absolutely brilliant and I love that there was no video to this I love that it was a you know just just audio only and you know you painted the picture yourself you wasn't influenced in any way by a video and yeah sometimes songs like this just need to be be told in this way and yeah marty robbins incredible job cannot wait to check out what's next but that's for you guys to tell me flood the comments with your favorites whichever's the most popular that's the one we'll check out next so hopefully you enjoyed this if you did do me a big favor hit that like button if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this. There's a country music playlist at the end of this. Make sure you check that out. Take a deep dive into that. Well over about 400 country music songs in there now. So there's bound to be something that fits your taste. So if there is, check it out. Give it a watch. If you like what you see, if you see and like what you hear, um, then hit that subscribe button. Come on the rest of this journey with me because we have got an incredibly long way to go. And it'd be great to have you along. But until then, and until next time, I hope you all take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.